The designs of his heart are from age to age, to rescue their souls from death and to keep them alive in famine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus. And so, as um, solemnities, we'll have another reading and pray the Creed and also the Gloria. To, my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who glory in the heart of your beloved Son and recall the wonders of his love for us, may be made worthy to receive an overflowing measure of grace from that fount of heavenly gifts through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, You are a people sacred to the Lord your God. He has chosen you from all the nations on the face of the earth to be a, to be a people peculiarly his own. It was not because you are the largest of all nations that the Lord set his heart on you and chose you. For you are really the smallest of all nations. It was because the Lord loved you and because of his fidelity to the oath he had sworn to your fathers, that he brought you out with his strong hand from the place of slavery and ransomed you from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand then that the Lord your God is God indeed, the faithful God who keeps his merciful covenant down to the thousandth generation toward those who love him and keep his commandments but who repays with destruction a person who hates him. He does not dally with such a one, but makes him personally pay for it. You shall therefore carefully observe the commandments, the statutes, and the decrees that I enjoin on you today. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. Bless the Lord, O my soul, all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills, he redeems your life from destruction crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord's, Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. 
the Lord Lord's is kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only Son into the world so that we might have life through him. And this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we, must, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God. Yet if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us of his Spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, there was a show or a book about a, um, I think it was a musician, and they were just going from one thing to another in their life, like many of us, but the behavior was destructive. It, was, it started with some, some drinking, and it moved to drugs, and then some to some, you know, uh, dangerous behaviors, uh, we might say, uh, outside the context of marriage. And, um, and and they were just running from one thing to the next, as they were, and it appeared that they were troubled, and they, they explained that they were. And they are just trying to find some peace. They really wanted to be loved. And um, they hit probably a rock bottom, as we might say, and then rebounded uh, with some help from others. And, you know, aren't you, we, aren't you or me, sometimes we just go from one thing to another, and we wonder, am I loved? Um, who am I? Who am I to others? Am I accepted? Am I loved? Um, do I matter? Am I worthy of love? These are some real questions that really happen in people's lives. Maybe not yours, maybe not mine, but well, I say, yeah, I've asked those questions because <laughs> I found the Lord, Jesus, and He has set His heart on us. You heard that in the first reading. He has set his heart on us. Now they're speaking about Israel, the people, God's gathering the people to himself, so that through this people his arms may be open to the whole world, to every single person. 
what is it like for you that the Lord has set his heart on you? So that you're not simply just going from one thing to another, looking for the deepest meaning in your life. The meaning has already found you and has chosen you. What is that for you? What is that like? We celebrate the Feast of the Sacred Heart today. It's a solemnity where the Sacred Heart of Jesus, which, you know, he had a heart, and it was pierced. But the heart in the Hebrew um, way of thinking also represents the depths of the person, who they are. And that Jesus, as we celebrate today, is all for us. That's the Father's plan. (laughs) And when we meet him and his love for us, we're meeting heaven itself. But the problem is, is sometimes we don't trust. Now, in the the responsorial psalm said, fear of the Lord. Well, not fear of the Lord like, I'm afraid of God, I want to hide from God. Fear of the Lord is, is, I'm afraid not to be with God. Because I know that outside of God, there is nothing that will completely satisfy. Everything else is temporary. And so, while God is all for us, his heart is set upon us, is ours set on him? Do we trust? Do we choose? So, our God's creative, right? What does he do? (laughs) He takes on all the sin and suffering onto his heart so that nothing will separate us from him. He's not going to let that be the barrier between us and him. He takes it on so he can forgive sin and that he can ease our suffering. Come to me, all you who are burdened and need rest. My heart is meek and humble, he says. So when we meet the heart of Jesus, when we see him suffering, he elicits a change of heart in us to trust him, to, to move past any things that are getting in the way of following him, any of those self-destructive behaviors, because we see the real cost of them. If we can't see them in ourselves, we at least see them in him, the man who's suffering, beaten dead out of love for you and me. (laughs) We want to ease his suffering. Isn't God so creative that he's eliciting compassion from us so that through our mercy towards Christ, even though it may be only a drop, he can give us the infinite mercy, ocean of his mercy. So today, the Feast of the Sacred Heart, When you imagine his heart loving you, don't imagine it alone. Imagine your heart right next to his, being warmed by his love, redeemed by his pierced heart, and brought back to life by his precious blood. Together we stand for our petitions, well, for our creed, excuse me. Together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. 
and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life for the world to come. Amen. <coughs> Knowing that we are loved by the Father, we bring before him our needs with the confidence that we will be heard. For Pope Francis, our bishop, priests, and all who serve the church, may the Lord strengthen them in their mission of bringing the light of Christ to a weary world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic and community leaders, may the Holy Spirit help them to lead peacefully and work cooperatively. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may the Lord deepen our understanding of his love at work in our midst. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a swift end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts our world, that God will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us all to persevere in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in the light of Christ, especially Rita Beshi, may his sacred heart envelop them in his love. And for the intentions of this Mass, John Condon, Karen Reeder, and David Condon, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold silently in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And together we offer our vocations prayer. God, our Father, we beg you for an increase in religious vocations. Help our people offer their lives in service to you. Let them hear your spirit's invitation and awaken in their hearts a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and consecrated religious, as we entrust to your care all who seek to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. You'll become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we will come share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, you'll become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands. Let the grace and glory of his name for our good and good of all in his holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray, on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you and an expiation of our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that one over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the spring of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. Betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Walker, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children, who are scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. 
through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ give me safe for eternal life. Thus says the Lord, Let whoever is thirsty come to me and drink. Streams of living water will flow from within the one who believes in me. I invite you now, wherever you may be, to make a prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May this sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that, drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. And, you know, with the Sacred Heart of Jesus, he's a desire of the everlasting hills. He's a, fulfill, he's a fulfillment, I mean, of, of all of our desires. And, um, and so it's pretty awesome that we walk with in helping each other find Jesus as a satisfaction of our, the depths of our hearts. Uh, you don't have to be perfect to be a follower of Jesus. Um, and you don't have to be qualified to be called by Jesus to follow him. And so let's keep that open mind towards everybody that we may share that love of Jesus with, with everybody, you know. Um, all right. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.